Hello world and welcome to the vlog. My name is Artemis. And this is a space for anybody looking to reinvent their life. And chances are, there's something in your life that you want to change. I really enjoy visiting new places. Like this one today, I stumbled upon this gem of a view because I came to drop some people off on this side of town. This is Nazareth, by the way. I've been around Nazareth and there are some breathtaking views in every direction. Uh, but I've never seen this one. I moved to Israel about eight and a half months ago and everything around here is new for me. I've traveled 15,000 kilometers all around this land looking at, at landscapes and checking out historical sites and all kinds of stuff. And it's been an amazing opportunity for me and it's been a wonderful time. Here's something really strange that I noticed about myself or about my attitude towards new places that I go to. While I enjoy, you know, the process and being there and going to a new place, it's always exciting to, uh, to find something new, to see something new, great memories. But I noticed that when I come to these new places, I do not get as inspired as I used to before. First time I came here to Nazareth, it was only a couple of days after I got into the country. It was a short drive away from my town and you can see the whole road going up. There's this bridge and it goes into a tunnel. You come out on the other side and you get this panorama of you know, the old city uh, on the hills and like the new city of Nazareth. It's beautiful and I was literally, I was literally shaking from emotion. This is Nazareth, an amazing ancient place with a wonderful story with Jesus walking around right here. He could have sat in this place and taught his disciples or had lunch with his brothers or his cousins over here. I made a video about being in admire mode. If you haven't seen it, there's a link. Look for it up here somewhere. And I guess that this idea is a continuation of that. My guess is that this is not something that only happens to me and a lot of people go through this because I see this on like a grand scale. People lose interest in their car, in their spouse, in their work, on all kinds of things. The basic truth is that we are never satisfied. The more we see, the more we want to see. And talking about that is a very unpopular thing in the 21st century because society, business, and the market all feed on this insatiable lust of the eyes that we have. You know, I wonder what people did in the old days when all they knew was their little house on a patch of land and they never went anywhere. So that leaves us with a very important question that we have to settle in our heart. If we could only stay in one place with the same people, could we be inspired? Could we live a happy life? Could we find meaning in that place with those people? This is really important because freedom is being able to find inspiration in the little things and not having to rely on some kind of big outside stimuli, on, on entertainment, on you know big trips and expensive things just to feel inspired. And that's also where God comes in. Because the more you're in tune with God, the better you understand His will for your life and the better you follow His work in you, the freer you are and the more inspired you are and the easier it is for you to feel better about the place that you're in. So whatever your situation is right now, I hope that you can look around and find those little things that can inspire you and you can find a little bit more freedom in that inspiration. And in that freedom, you can start asking yourself some of those more, most important questions about life, about God, and find the answers. Hey, if you're new here, there's a couple of buttons down below for you to push. If you click those, you're gonna make a lot of people really happy.